Part of the trailer to Oliver Stone's 1991 film, JFK. When Kennedy was killed, the official narrative was immediately questioned. Nearly five decades later, a new poll has found a clear majority of Americans still suspect there was a conspiracy behind the assassination. However, according to the Associated Press GFK poll, the percentage of those who believe accused shooter Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone is at its highest level since the mid-60s. The survey conducted in mid-April said 59 percent of Americans think multiple people were involved in a conspiracy to kill the president, while 24 percent think Oswald acted alone. 16 percent are still unsure. A 2003 Gallup poll found 75 percent of Americans felt there was a conspiracy. We're joined for the hour by three-time Academy Award-winning director, producer, screenwriter Oliver Stone. A Vietnam War veteran, he's made around two dozen acclaimed Hollywood films, including Platoon, Wall Street, Salvador, Born on the Fourth of July, JFK, Nixon, W, South of the Border, and Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. A commemorative edition of JFK comes out on Blu-ray next week, as the 50th anniversary of his assassination approaches on November 22nd. Most recently, Stone has co-written a multi-part Showtime series called Oliver Stone's Untold History of the United States, which is also available on Blu-ray and includes a companion book with the same name. We're also joined by Peter Kuznick, a professor of history and director of the Nuclear Studies Institute at American University, co-author of The Untold History of the United States. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! Um, Oliver Stone, let's begin with you as we move into this 50th anniversary of the Kennedy assassination. Your thoughts? Thank you, Amy, for having me back. It's nice to see you again. Hello, Peter. Uh, my thoughts. Um, uh, I saw them film uh, in inside these last few days, and I've been able uh, to assess it again. And I followed the cases more or less from the outside. I haven't been inside. It's amazing to me that people still deny it. Uh, as you know, I was in the infantry in, in Vietnam. I had a fair amount of combat experience. I saw people blown away in action. When you look once again at the basics of the film, the bullets the autopsy, the forensics, the shooting path, and stay away from all the other stuff, Oswald's background, at garrison, et cetera. Just follow the meat, the evidence, what you see with your own eyes in those six seconds. It's an amazing—it's uh, all there. It doesn't need to be elaborated upon. You can see it with your own eyes. You see Kennedy make his—get a hit in the, in the throat. Then you see Kennedy get a hit in the back. Then you see him essentially get a hit from the front. When he gets the hit from the front, which is the fourth or the fifth or the sixth shot, he goes back into the left. That's the basic evidence. You see a man fly back because he gets hit right here. Many witnesses at Parkland and at the autopsy in Bethesda saw a massive exit wound to the rear of his skull, to the right side. The people at Parkland, including the young Dr. McClellan, saw his cerebellum, his brain, go out, the, almost falling out of the back of his skull. Later, when he gets taken illegally to the uh, to Bethesda, Maryland, the military. Why control, illegal? Viol what? You said when he was taken He's illegally. He's taken immediately. I mean, immediately. Within an hour uh -huh. or two, he starts. But it takes four hours to fly there. Plus, the autopsy doesn't go off until later that evening, and it's manipulated. It's it's the doctors at the autopsy are not in charge of the autopsy. They're they're naval uh, naval technicians, surgeons. The military is telling them what to do. And when this whole thing emerges, what we have are weird shots of a, the back of his head is patched up, basically. And the shot, they're trying to justify the shot from the rear to the front. So they're saying that the shot from the back came into his back and hit Connolly. There's a, they talk about three bullets. One missed the magic bullet that was devised by Arlen Specter and others, devises a path that's impossible. It's seven wounds in two people, in, in Kennedy and in Connolly. The bullet hits Kennedy Connelly. in the back, goes out his throat, zigs to the right, hits Connolly in the left, goes down to Connolly's right wrist, it bounces back into his left knee. It's a, it's a farce, and they got away with it because they, it's a lot of mumbo-jumbo, and they use scientific evidence. But when people are in combat, they see things. They see people, they go with the bullet wound. It's essential. And uh, this, this was an, the, the Kennedy. It was shot right before Connolly in the back. Connolly gets shot, Got and Kennedy gets the, the headshot. So there's at least five shots here. 
And this is what you have to go with. Look at the Zapruder film over and over again, even if they altered it. Which and I'm for pre young people who don't know who Zapruder was oh, Zapruder was a, was, a, was a, a local man who shot this film that was taken by the CIA and the Secret Service, and it was altered a bit, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of evidence to that effect. You have to you get into scientific now. But the, the, the Zapruder film, even now, is, a, is the best signpost. It's a timing. Of the, it's a timing. It shows you the, how do you call it, the time frame of the assassination. And we have a scene in the movie where you see the, uh, the, the uh, man trying to do what Oswald did with a bolt-action Mannlicher Carcano rifle from World War II, which is a very bad weapon, Italian weapon, infantryman rifle. And you, you have to fire the shot through a tree at a, moving, at a target moving away from you. You can't do it. Two teams of FBI experts tried to do it, plus CBS, I believe, and various other organizations have tried to simulate that shooting in less than six seconds. It's not possible. So uh, this was a sophisticated ambush. There had to be a shot from the front, from that, from that uh, front, uh, that fence, and uh, at least one shooter from the front, at least one. <laughs>